Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Here's a new update in the assessment tool that I've been waiting for a long time. Now this new update will allow instructors to create a new type of question where students would be able to record an audio or video response instead of a written one. It's really an exciting update and specifically a great tool for teachers who teach IDCSE English, IELTS, TOEFL or any other language course. Basically you'll be able to test the speaking ability of your students online. So let's get started. Okay, click Add Material. Click Add Assessment. Change the details over here. Simply rename it. I'm fine with Speaking Test. Change the points if you want. I'm going to keep it to 30 leave it disabled right now and choose numeric it's up to you if you have your own grading criteria you can just choose that one I've already created one over here so I'm going to choose IDCSE grading and enable grading statistics if you want click create so if you have any instructions type them out here I'm just going to say speaking test. Okay, my assessment has a time limit. Yes, I'm going to keep it to 10 minutes only. And rest of the things, if you want to change anything, go ahead and do it. But for me, I'm fine with all the details over here. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now add a question. You can either click here or you can just go to the top and click on questions. Simply go ahead with the last two. These are the two updates. Now students can record an answer either in audio format or a video format. I'm going to go ahead with audio. Let's click on the audio question over here. Now in the IGCSE, we have a speaking component, that is component 5. So I have a past exam from IGCSE, and if you look at it, it's speaking card keeping fit. All I'm going to do is simply convert it to an image format. Now go ahead and use any snapping tool that you want, just take a snapshot and then save it as image. I'm going to save it on my desktop. I'm going to choose desktop and I'm going to click OK. So that's all. I've saved it as image. Let's go back to the assessment. Record your answer for this question by simply clicking on the record button. So this is the instruction for the students. Now let's add the speaking card. Click on the image button over here. Click on the plus button here and browse for the picture. I saved it on desktop so I'm going to simply go and select it. So here's my speaking card. Cool. So now you can just change the width over here. You can either do it here or you can do it manually. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with uh, 700 pixels for width. Click OK and if you want to resize it you can again select it and then just drag it from the corner but I'm okay so it's fine here this is a speaking card students can easily look at it and record their answers uh, by clicking on the audio button record button so I'm gonna go ahead and 600 seconds this is the maximum time limit for students so if you look at it 60 seconds in a minute time it by 10 that's 600 so that means 10 minutes 
up to recording of 10 minutes will be allowed. So I'm fine with 10 minutes. And click Save. So my question is ready. If you need to change the uh, points, I'm going to go ahead and make it 30. Just click outside. And there's one more thing. The rubric is what you need to grade students' responses. So go ahead. You can either create a new rubric if you want by clicking Create New. But I've already created one for speaking. I'm going to go ahead and choose the speaking. Here is the speaking rubric. Now check this box if you want students to have a look at the marking criteria, the marking rubric, so they know what is expected from them. So click on it to see what the rubric looks like. So there are 10 uh, marks for structure, 10 for vocab, and 10 for development and fluency. That will be a total of 30 marks. So students can have a look at the requirement and they would understand it even better. So go ahead and click create. Let's see. Preview question. How does it look like when students view it? So that's how students can see it. And there is a record option over here. So pretty good. The assessment is ready. Click save. Now let's go to a student account and see how the student can view and record the answer. But yes, make sure that you have enabled the submissions here because students will not be able to see the assignment or the test unless it's enabled. So let's go ahead and click Action, click Edit, and from here click Enable. Save Changes. So now it's done. Let's go to a student's account and see how students can actually view it and take it. So I'm logged into a student's account and this is the folder where the test was created. So let's go ahead and click on speaking test. Here's the speaking assignment, the assessment that we've created for the student. Now let's go ahead and click. So that's how the students can see it. They can see the total marks over here and it says you may only make one attempt. Let's click start attempt. Student can, can go full screen from here and here is the marking rubric. Simply by clicking it, students can view the marking rubric. Maybe if I go back here, yeah. so maybe it won't work in a full screen, but if you go out of full screen, you can see the marking criteria. So maybe you can click again to see if it's working. Yes, it's working fine. Now you can go full screen. Now here is the speaking card for the student. And if you scroll down a little bit, keeping the speaking card in front of the student and the record screen. So while student is recording an answer, the student can see what they're supposed to be talking about or speaking about. So let's go ahead and see how it could be done. So I'm going to take this as a student. I'm going to just speak a little briefly about it. And then later on, we can go ahead and see when the student submitted it, how the teacher can actually grade it. So let's click start recording. Hello. Ah, keeping fit. I think it's a very, very interesting topic. So I have known a lot of people and they're really concerned about their fitness and health and Ronaldo. So I believe that sport could be really good for keeping fit and healthy. Simply click on the stop button when you're done recording. You can listen to your recording before you submit. Hello. Ah, keeping fit. I think it's a very, very interesting topic. So yeah. I have known a lot once of you're satisfied, and really go ahead and submit. If you're not, health. you can simply go ahead and click on the record button again. When you click, 
a message pops up that the earlier recording will be deleted or replaced. So you can do that too. But for now, I am actually uh, really satisfied with my recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click on review and then click finish. It says, do you want to submit the activity? Yes, for sure. So here we go. Now student is actually uh, waiting for a modification and grading by the teacher. So it says your activity has been submitted. Now let's go ahead and see how as a teacher I can view the response uh, from this particular student and how I can grade it. So here is the test. I'm logged into my teacher's account right now as you can see over here. And this is the test. Let's click on the test and see how many students have taken it. So I am in grading and if I go ahead, go down, here's the one a demo student actually took the test, the assessment, and it shows me that it needs grading. So I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and click on it. So here's the speaking card and if I scroll down, here is the audio file that was submitted by the student. So I can even download it if I want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to simply click on the play button over here. And while I'm listening, I'm going to scroll up ah, and click I on the rubric very, very interesting topic. and decide so on a mark I have band. Known a lot of people and they're really concerned about that. Well, I think you know, the student is pretty good. Uh, of Range of structure was used and generally accurate. So I'm going to go ahead with eight for structure and well, vocab, the student has used less common and common vocab. I'm pretty happy with, let's say, 10. Fluency was pretty good. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm blowing my own trumpet. So I'm going to go ahead with 10 or 8. Okay, I'm going to be a little modest over here. I'm going to choose 8. So go ahead and click Save. So over here you can see 26 out of 30 is what the student will get. So simply go ahead and click Save and you've graded a speaking assignment. It's that simple. Go ahead and create your own assignment. Assignment. Do leave your feedback in the comments area and let me know if you like the video. Thank you very much. That's all for now.